Hey guys, uh, sorry it took me a long time to post on this channel, but um, I think it'll be worth it. Uh, I just got caught up a bunch of stuff, but I am now making the video. I decided to change up the video idea that I had, and I'm going to teach you guys how to make a one by one. Hope you guys like it. Alright, so first you're going to need a corner stock or a corner piece. Um, I've already did some of the work here. Um, I don't have a lighter on me, but basically take it from any cube as long as the, the cube piece is, you know, shaped like this. Basically like standard Rubik's piece. Um, a, you know, a Guhong piece like this won't work. I mean, maybe it could, but uh, they're just shaped differently. Anyway, so put that away. Sorry about the chords. I've been doing some music recording, so... Anyway, what you're gonna need is a lighter. I don't have on me, but I've already done the lighter work. I'll tell you what to do. Don't worry, it's not hard. Uh, this is a really bad example, but some wire cutters or just something that will cut this down. And then possibly you might need something like this, um, where you know you shave just shave some stuff down. Um, also, give me a second. Sandpaper. Okay, you're gonna need uh, probably two courses. Um, I'm using 80 for one, and then I got I think a hundred or 200 one. And that's just, you know, to buff it out. It shouldn't really matter, though. Um, it's kind of stuck together because of the adhesive. But it's alright. Um, I'll probably only be using, using using the 80. Or I think this is 100. Either one, 80 or 100. 80 is probably better. Anyway, basically what you're going to do is you're going to take a lighter. You know, let's see here. Makeshift lighter. Uh, pretend this is a lighter, I guess. Okay. So you're going to take your lighter, you know, light it. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to start melting the corner piece end here. And then once it starts melting, or you'll see it, be careful though because it's fire, don't burn yourselves. Uh, if you really need to have someone that knows what they're doing, do this for you. Anyway, you melt it, you'll see it start melting and bubbling, and then um, make sure you blow it out because sometimes the plastic will catch on fire. It's not going to extremely, you know, get engulfed in flames, but it, it'll probably catch a little bit. So blow it out, and after it's, it's kind of bubbly and soft, use the side of the lighter and just start smashing the corner piece into itself to kind of fill that little gap and um, a hole that's in this, you know, in the corner here. And then um, you should you just shouldn't have to do it too much, you know, just a little bit. So you can see, ooh, actually let me focus this, I have a manual. Um, you can see it's just there, kind of just, I overlapped it in this spot the most because on the Rubik's brand there's like a part of the corner cap there that just has a hole. So anyway, just melt it down, you know, melt it until it gets really bubbly and um, soft and then you just push it you know with the side of the lighter push it into itself that part should take maybe a minute or less and then um, you're on to the next step so next I usually use wire cutters better ones than this but um, if you have a hacksaw you want to use that instead you're basically just gonna try and cut this excess stuff off it doesn't have to be too crazy I mean if you really wanted to and you wanted to skip this whole step you could just go straight to sanding but that takes a long time um, I would do it with my Dremel but it's in the tool shed and I really don't want to get it so, just keep cutting at it. Should be pretty simple. Alright, that's this should be okay. That should be alright. I'm gonna try and work with that. Let's do that. Alright. Now we're just gonna take sandpaper here. And we're gonna sand everything down. Until you get a nice flat surface on all three sides. So as you can see, it's getting... Uh, nice and flat there on this side we're looking pretty good on this corner here um, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep going a little bit longer, I gotta clean out my sandpaper okay and then we're just gonna keep going until you feel the whole side go smooth and that was that, see that one's smooth uh, don't worry about it looking really horrible, I know it does, it's just uh, that'll uh, get buffed out when you have your finer grits and your polish and whatnot. You kind of want to work on the corner first and then you'll feel it come down and then that's once you feel the rest of the QB start getting shaved down with the corner, that's when you know you've hit it flat. So work on that side a little bit more right there where it's flat and then um, you should be okay. Okay, now I'm working on the third side. So now what I'm doing is I'm sanding my back, and then I'm rolling it as I sand to the next side, and that should give me that nice little curve that the QBs have. Um, it's probably not going to look that great. Actually, it's not looking too bad. Actually, I'm pretty stoked. That corner kind of got a little bit messed up, so I didn't melt enough on that corner. As you can see, it's like 
that much is missing but you could just if you really wanted to you can melt some plastic onto there or just round off the edges a little bit more and all of them and it'll, it'll look better but basically that's all you do you have this side sanded this side is nice and sanded flat uh, and this side is sanded flat too um, it is obviously going to look kind of scratchy um, I don't know if I'm happy with that corner I want to melt it melt some more dust onto there uh, I guess for the video that'll do so now I'm just going to take the edge and I'm going to round each part of the edge over so that's actually helping that look a lot better actually so yeah so then we're just going to keep rounding over that edge round over that edge you can see I'm just turning see how I'm going from orange to yellow I'm turning uh, the cube every time I sand the best I'll get it alright so now we're going to move to fine grit so I forgot there's adhesive on these things I thought they were the hook and sand I put them in backwards but um, let's go ahead and take this one off so move to your fine grit and you're just going to sand basically just sand in circles and just basically what you're doing is just polishing it making it smooth that way that should be basically it um, as you can see if you start just rubbing it if you buff it with something it'll start turning uh, really smooth and then the more you buff it it'll turn shiny again but it's just a one by one. I mean, I mean, you could spend as much time as you want really trying to see. I can I almost had a shine there. It's kind of kind of getting there. Um, if you really wanted to, you could just move that. It's a little bit too round. So yeah, right here, what I would do is just melt a little bit more plastic on there and then uh, work on that. But I sh it shouldn't matter to me. So yeah, you just basically keep sanding it till it's nice and smooth, and then buff it if you really want to. Basically, it's finished. Um, if you melt more plastic into the the corner like I broke too much off as you can see um, you won't have this it'll be just a nice point and then you could just shape and round it like I I've done before so I'm just gonna shape around these little edges here and that should be that um, so let me get some stickers and finish stickering this beast and then we'll uh, we'll play with it so and that is that how to make a one by one so basically you're done. Just got your stickers on there. Back away. And now we can cube and have some fun. So uh, what's the purpose of one of these you're saying? If you haven't seen in my vlog, um, having one of these are really fun because you can just toss it. And right there I would do yellow cross. So then you would start, but oh that's a horrible yellow cross scramble. Okay anyway, so then you start on yellow cross. Which I'm really zoomed in, I think. Okay, no, it's just my camera. Alright, and then say after you solve your yellow cross, it lands on green. So then you'd use you start on green cross. And um doing this is a really good way of uh becoming color neutral. Cause it trains you to do whatever cross that the little one by one tells you. So that's it. Um, that's the corner you could tell. As you can see, it's not that big of a deal, big of an issue. You can't really tell if I'm if I'm swinging it like this. You can't even tell. Um, polishing it will probably help. If not, you could just sand the rest of it, make it flat. But um, white cross, yellow cross, orange cross. I hate orange cross. There you go. That's a really bad solve example. But that just lets you know. That, that's what these are good for. If not, you could just be like, here, to your friends, you can't solve anything, try that one. And it's a pretty good joke. So, that's how you make a one by one. I hope you guys liked it. Um, subscribe above if you like the videos. I'm going to be posting more tutorials like this. And it should be pretty cool. So, I hear the ice cream man. I might go get some ice cream. <laughs> Have a good one.